Hello guys, how is it going? So in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to host your Laravel API on AWS. What we're going to be using is uh, the AWS's Elastic Beanstalk, which is going to help us to deploy our application in a very easy way. Like we don't have to do any sort of uh, very hard configuration or whatever. It's very simple and you can easily like scale your application uh, back and forth so it's going to be a great way to get your Laravel API to work on the cloud. So as you can see here I've got my Laravel API running, it's a very simple API but this is going to work for any Laravel API that you have. So as you can see here I am just running the API. What we're going to want to do first is that we have to go to our folder where we have our API. In the, this is the case uh, for my application. So uh, if you are a Mac user, what you have to do is you have to press Shift, Command and then the dot so that you can see the hidden files that we have over here. Uh, in Windows, I think it's uh, a different way that you have to do it in order for it to show the, the hidden files, but you have to do that. So this is our Laravel API, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to select everything and once everything is selected, we just have to deselect the vendor folder. So this is going to get zipped, so we're just going to compress this. And this is going to be our zipped API. So I'm just going to rename it. This is the name of my application, so I'm just going to name it like that. Then we have to go to the AWS console. You have to log in. So once you're inside, all you have to do is search for Elastic Beanstalk. So you can see here they already have one running. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new environment. And once we're here, you just have to select the web server environment. You're going to give your application a name. The environment information, uh, you can just leave it like this. This is just going to auto-generate a URL for us, so that's okay right now. You can add a description if you want or whatever. So the platform that we're going to want here, we have to go with PHP. So we're just going to use the PHP 7.3, that's okay. Uh, the version platform, uh, that's all right. And then we are going to upload our code. This is our zip file that we compressed earlier. So we're going to choose our file. We select it. And it's going to start uploading. So that's it, it was uploaded, and now we just click on create environment. So it may take a few minutes to create, so I'm just going to pause the video and come back when it's done. So this only took a few minutes to complete, so it's now uh, done. We have to do some other configuration. So as you can see here, the, our application help is OK, and the platform is PHP. And here is our URL, but we can't use it yet because on Laravel we have to set our documents root that's going to be the index.php so we have to go to configuration on this side of the screen and here we have to go to the software category we're going to click edit and then the document root has to be slash public path so that it knows it has to go to search on that folder for our index.php file so as you can see here, we have other uh, options. Uh, we don't need to move any, any of that right now, so we're just going to click Apply. It might take a few seconds for it to save. So our environment is going to start working with that new configuration. It should take only a few minutes. So once this is done, we're all set. So we just have to open up this link right here. And this is going to take us to our Laravel application. So for example, we can now see our API at work. So we're just going to go to field trips, which is our endpoint. And as you can see right here, I've got my information up and running. 
and that's it our application is going to be hosted in AWS so there are things that we can do to configure our Elastic Beanstalk application so we, we can go back to our dashboard and we can go to configuration so as you can see right here we have lots of options for example we can set our instance type uh, say for example this is going to be your production environment so if you're going to have lots of users or whatever you can come here and change this to another instance type some uh, security groups that you need to add for certain ports or other configurations you can do it right here and all you have to do once you're finished is just apply the configuration and it's going to start working with that again so this is it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please remember to leave them on the video and I'm going to try to answer them as soon as possible. So thanks a lot. See you next time.